Okay, this is a very quick guide through this. This is LibreOffice Calc, but it works essentially the same way as Excel. When we're using a spreadsheet, and most of you will have done this before, there's some basic key bits. Obviously, the A, B, C, D, all of these are columns. One, two, if I can click on it. One, two, three, four, and so on are all rows. Okay, when we're entering basic information in, they will format normally. So if I put in so I can name um, and a surname, they will go in fine. If I start to put uh, numbers in, like a 10, you'll find that they're formatting on the other side. So basically, alphanumeric will format on the left hand side, whereas numbers will format on the right hand side. So you can see the spreadsheet's already spotting the difference here. So if we change this to something like age, okay, then we can start to enter some basic information here. So we can make Bob and make up some uh, surname here, like Bob Bobby and an age of 10. When we want to later on uh, start to enter some formula, the big thing with formulas is this should be starting with an equals. So we could start with an equal symbol that's telling the spreadsheet is a formula. So a very simple one here would be equals average brackets, select the area we want, close the brackets, press enter, and you'll see his average age is 10. If we now add a second one, so I'm going to call this person Anna um, A, because I have got no imagination, and we give that person an average age of 11, then the, obviously the, the different, sorry, an age of 11, then obviously the average is 10.5 because the average of a 10 and 11 is 10.5. But the key thing on here is the formula. So this always starts with an equals. If we're adding them together, it becomes a sum, although adding people's ages together would be weird. And this is the range. So we're going from C2 through to C9. Now you can just type that in using the colon or you can highlight the area. If we were just adding the two, then that would become a plus, or it could be a minus if we're taking one away from the other. But in this case, because it's a whole range area, we're using the colon option. So that now becomes 21, although that's meaningless in this instance.